Perfect. All right. So let's go to my first slide. So why this presentation is the question. Many of the times what happens is uh, people don't know the context. The context here is recently the NEET exams are completed and some people might have got disappointment because they did not get the NEET rank. So they need to have some kind of an alternative planning. And those who are in first year or 10th, 10th class or parents listening to me today, just try to understand these are all the different choices available in case if you did not appear for the need or you appear for the need, but you did not get a very good rank or you are not going to get the seat. So you have a choice to appear for need again. Otherwise, you have so many different options which we are going to discuss today. So there are many options where need is not really required. So the first section I'm going to talk about is the courses where NEET is really required. There are some courses where MSET is required, NEET is not required. And there are some courses where NEET is not required, MSET is also not required. And those who took the biology background and they wanted to go into engineering side, there are some options too. So those are the different things we are planning to discuss today. So to begin with, I am going to talk about some of the courses where NEET is really a requirement. So five and a half years of MBBS is the course. Majority of the people aspire to get there. But remember, in 2022 or even last five years, many of the people are not even visiting the doctors who are just MBBS. So once you complete your MBBS, you have to do MD also. So MD is three years, five, five and a half years of your MBBS. You have to plan for eight and a half years of your time, money, and resources. So if you think that is too much for you to dedicate eight and, eight and a half years, better you think about other courses instead of getting into MBBS. Because once you complete your five and a half years of MBBS, you will be called as doctor. You can write DR in front of your name. That doesn't mean you will be successful in the market because going forward in next 10 to 20 years, people are not going to come to uh, someone who did just MBBS and there is no specialization. So those who don't want to spend their eight and a half years after intermediate, better they choose something else instead of going into MBBS. First of all, getting MBBS is really hard, but even after completing MBBS, you will be struggling to find the patients or whatever the service you wanted to get into, right? So that, that is one thing you have to remember. But if you want to do, for example, complete MBBS and then you want to go for IAS or something else, that is different, right? The other option, those who did not want to get into MBBS are the, those who did not get a score to get a seat in MBBS through need. They can get into other medical courses like BDS five years, BAMS, Ayurvedic, BHMS, homeopathy, BUMS, Unani, BYMS, yoga, uh, naturopathy, Siddha medicine, otherwise veterinary side. So these all different courses are available who complete their need and they can choose whatever they want, either based on their rank, otherwise based on their passion. Right. So these are the different courses. I'm not going to go into details of each of them, but again, like MBBS, all other courses, if you do master's program, that will be better. But if you don't do the master's program, then there is a chance that you will not be able to prove yourself in next 10 to 10 to 20 years, because you are studying today. You have to think about how the world goes after 10 or 20 years, right? And uh, in, in naturopathy, I was doing some extra research to find out there are some uh, two-year diploma courses also. So those people who did their BSc in regular, uh, what you call uh, uh, regular college study, they can get these small diplomas, like two years diploma in something, and you can uh, plan your career 
and one other important point uh, my friends mentioned yesterday was this unani medicine you have to have some kind of a uh, urdu type of a language the language which starts from other side of the english so urdu arabic are persian language because majority of the unani research was done in those languages that's why they are asking students to join bums only if their intermediate or 10th has these languages urdu arabic or persian and uh, when i was doing some research on veterinary science uh, i was wondering what are the different courses where honey is involved so we all know these days everyone is trying to go natural and uh, everyone wants to eat natural foods and the most natural food in the whole world is honey so who is going to cultivate those uh, uh, honey bees and uh, produce the honey at mass scale so that's a big business these days and uh, if you do some kind of a course <coughs> where uh, protecting the honey bees maintaining the honey uh, combs and all those things so it's a veterinary science so i was just curious to know uh, what what are the different courses which comes under honey and honey bees uh, and one important thing i found was uh, to get into veterinary science you can either get a neat or mset both are fine but again if you do masters in veterinary that will be better but even if you do bachelors that is okay right so let me go to the next slide where the no neat is not really required so those who did not write the neat exam or those who did not get very good rank in neat they can try their luck on bachelors in physiotherapy so these days you might have observed a lot of people have problems with their uh, uh, you can say legs hands back and all those things and these days a lot of people are getting this knee replacement surgery right so physiotherapy is really important going forward you might have seen people sitting in their chairs uh, working in computers and uh, driving long distances they are all feeling they need some kind of a therapy physical therapy so this physiotherapy is an important course which is four and a half years course four years plus six months of compulsory internship and i was just looking who is offering those course in hyderabad the most uh, popular colleges are nizams institute of medical sciences in uh, panjagutta nims and apollo uh, hospital is also offering that uh, physiotherapy course and if someone wants to do two years of masters degree that will be better so if you do physiotherapy course there are a lot of job opportunities you can also open your own physiotherapy clinic and uh, b pharmacy and pharma d these are the two pharmacy side of uh, courses where some in some country in some states outside of telangana the mset or neat is not really required but in telangana if you write the mset exam and you get the seat through convener quota you will be able to get the free reimbursement so it's a important point i am trying to cover uh one of my friend uh, uh, reminded me yesterday this is really important point because if you are not coming through convener quota you will be able to get the seat but you have to pay, pay the fee from your pocket the government is not going to reimburse the fees if you are not coming through convener quota so that that's an important point about the pharmacy and uh, we all know what is the importance of medicines these days um, everyone is having some kind of a medicine some people are having medicines for their last 10 plus 10 to 20 years so me medicine is going to be playing an important role going forward even if the doctors are there or not there medicines are there medicines are not going to die in next 10 to 20 years so if you want to be in the pharmacy field and that is your passion then you can do this uh, b pharmacy or pharma d course and neat is not really required for this but if you have mset score and coming through convener quota you can get the fee reimbursement next important course is nursing so in nursing there are so many different courses some of them are short term like two years course 
long term four years course and there are some part time courses too and the importance of nursing is all the big hospitals the nurse is required male or female and here in us i have seen the nurses who are better than doctors so sometimes the doctor is not available we go and get the appointment from the nurse and all our needs are fulfilled we don't really need a doctor to visit the hospital or clinic so nurse is really important profession and th those people who really want to serve the patients they are going to choose nurse here in us so in india also if you are really passionate about serving the patients try to choose nursing as your profession and it's a four years course if it is bsc nursing uh, if it is a diploma course it is a two years program after bachelor's program so these these are the options in nursing uh, there are so many engineering courses those who took the bypc as their intermediate uh, course and they want to do some kind of engineering there are engineering options so there is a btech in biotechnology btech in biomedical engineering btech in dairy technology btech in textile engineering and there are bioinformatics btech in environmental engineering genetical engineering and uh, uh, so many other options might be there but th these are the primary options in terms of engineering so if if you have any questions we can just cover here otherwise at the end uh, in terms of all these courses uh, i was just looking for the options in bioinformatics who is offering in hyderabad it is iit which is offering bioinformatics is also offered by triple it and there is mtech course and ms research and different courses in bioinformatics and in terms of uh, dairy technology i was just trying to explore more here if i go to any of the shops maybe in india also you might have seen everyone is looking for a milk or uh, yogurt or curd or uh, cheese or butter so all these products are coming from the dairy right so dairy technology is a impo really important field going forward because everyone definitely needs some kind of a milk or milk products and again milk there are so many different types of milks uh, from cows and from buffaloes from uh, the sheep so many different types of milks are there so that that's an important technology important field of uh, engineering if you are coming from bypc and you want to get into uh, engineering so that is a very important uh, uh, field to get get into and bioinformatics is like it again information technology field and you are coming from the biology background that's an, another important uh, aspect you can try right so if you have any question i can answer here otherwise we'll answer it there okay some more courses there are so many courses available for the bypc students and these courses i listed here uh these these are all like uh, miscellaneous courses one is national institute of fashion technology and in food processing there are so many courses food storage food pres preservation so all these don't really need a need and some of the universities might have their own uh, entrance examination for example agricultural university in hyderabad they are offering some courses and they have their own entrance examination and these days all over the world everyone is trying to talk about the global warming and they are trying to preserve the trees so forestry is an important course if you are trying to get into that that side of the spectrum i was really curious about this entomology it looks like a really important course where they are plan trying to protect the plants and protect the species which lives in the plant so that, that's an important course and in that course also you have a, a bachelor's course diploma course one year course long term courses there are so many courses available in entomology and the agri ecosystem ecological engineering it's again a important uh, thing i i have uh, some uh, links here from the government of india website and uh, everyone is talking to protect the environment so ecological engineering and uh, agro ecosystem is important and everyone is talking about uh, doing the agriculture without using the pesticides or chemicals so that's where this this course uh, comes in picture 
Epidemiology, again, an important thing. We have already seen the pandemic. So pandemic and epidemic, two, two different keywords here. Pandemic means there is some problem, some virus attacking all over the world, all the countries. And epidemic means there is some virus attacking one particular country or a region or a state or a continent. For example, we have seen this uh, dengue coming, uh, otherwise some kind of a virus attacking a local area and all the people in that area are affected. So epidemiology is another important uh, science uh, branch where you can do some study and uh, you can help the humanity. Enzymology is another thing where you are going to study about the enzymes, especially for example, uh, yogurt has enzymes and uh, people are going to have some kind of a loose motions, diarrhea, they need some kind of enzymes to protect their stomach. And there are some enzymes where they are going to see if the milk can be produced more, otherwise milk production can be sustained. All those things you, will go, you are going to study in this enzymology. Horticulture, again, an important field. These days, everyone wants to have a small plant in their home. People are health conscious and they want to grow some kind of a plantation around their home. So that's where you are going to help people by doing some research and some kind of a study on horticulture. Uh, fishery is another important field where you are going to uh, do some kind of a study on aquaculture. There are so many seafoods available in the world and you are going to do study on those seafoods, not only fish. So fish is one branch of the entire seafood family. So in seafood, there are crabs, there are so many other types of foods, but uh, fish is one important field where people are going to breed the fish uh, in, in their small, small tanks. And uh, these days, because of uh, this global warming and uh, all the big industries are occupying the farmlands. So people are trying to breed the fish in a small area. So that's another challenge, right? If you see, there is something called uh, pisciculture, where they are breeding the fish in a controlled area, a small area, right? Uh, the next one is agricultural marketing. Uh, you might have seen in the market somewhere, uh, people grow the tomatoes and they will just throw the tomatoes. Why? Because the problem is those tomatoes are not being sold at the proper price. So, they want to get a uh, good price for these tomatoes. So this, this is one example. Sometimes the tomato becomes 100 rupees kg and sometimes they throw the tomatoes. Why this is happening? Because there is no proper marketing. And in, in, in next few slides, I, I'm going to talk about more about those uh, uh, preserving the food. But here I'm talking about the marketing. So you have to know wh what are the different ways you can market your products. So agricultural marketing is an important field where farmers are going to get uh, very good money for all their hard work. They, they are working for all over the year and they are not getting paid. So agricultural marketing is one, one another field where you can explore different ways to make sure the farmers are going to get uh, proper money for their all hard work. In that same line, there is MSE agriculture where you are going to help the people find out different uh, ways to protect the crop and uh, different ways to increase the crop. And uh, to market the crop, again, you have uh, agricultural marketing. So MSC agriculture or BSC agriculture is another field where we have agricultural university in Hyderabad itself. So you can uh, join that university and do your bachelor's and master's and become an expert in agriculture. Right, so go to my next slide. There are so many other bachelor courses. As I said, there is a BSc Agriculture. There is a separate entrance test and it will be conducted by Agricultural University in uh, Hyderabad. I don't remember near that zoo, close to zoo. There's, I think Rajendra Nagar area, there is a, a Agricultural University. They have their own entrance test. So you can get into BSc Agriculture. And I am just going to, read through the names. These are all different courses people can do. Forensics, forensic science, forensic chemistry, life sciences, lab technician, 
nuclear medicines, radiotherapy, optometry, anesthesiology, dialysis, uh, operation theater technician, odometric technology, speech therapy, nutrition, dietitian, blood banking. So out of all these technologies, if you just observe, most of these are helping the medical field. The people who did MBBS or MD, they are working as a doctor. But the doctor cannot work without the help of all these people. For example, without lab technician, doctor cannot do anything. Without blood bank, otherwise without blood, the doctors are not going to do a lot, right? Without anesthesia, doctors are not going to do a lot, right? So all these other technologies are really helping the doctors to do their job. And first two courses, first three courses will be in the slide, forensic science. It's another different field. So a lot of uh, criminal activity happens in the society. And sometimes people do some crime and they want to get away. So if you do this uh, forensic science, you will be able to find out what was the cause of death someone died otherwise someone injured what is the cause of injury is it a fall is it a bullet uh, is it a knife is it a some kind of a weapon right and you are going to do the dna test to find out who was the criminal so on the police side they definitely need help and that help will be provided the people who are coming from the forensic science and forensic chemistry and that, the, that side of the spectrum Okay. Uh, some more supporting roles here, blood transfusion, cardiac, emergency critical care, endoscopy, and operation theater, orthopedic, paramedical, perfusion, radiology, respiratory, clinical research, occupational therapy, phys physician assistant. And if you see most of these courses on this slide, they are again helping the doctors. Doctors are not going to do anything if they don't have, for example, blood, blood transfusion, endoscopy, right? Uh, radiology, imaging, clinical research. So the, these are the important field where you are going to work with the doctors. You might not be a MBBS or MD doctor, but your role is really important. And if you think this is your passion, you can choose one of these courses and you have very good future, bright future, and you don't have to write any NEET exam or MSET exam or anything, right? And these days you have seen a lot of people having stomach problems, stomach ulcers, that's where the endoscopy is really important. A lot of people have heart problems, the cardiac technology, cardiovascular technology. For example, someone is having a heart problem and doctor says, go and get the 2D eco. Who is going to do that? The person is not a doctor, but the, the person is having a specialized training in 2D eco, right? Similarly, you have, uh, uh, for example, speech therapy, occupational therapy, uh, child psychology. These, these days, all the big, big schools are coming with all the fancy names. They need a psychologist in their school to make sure the children are happy and children are doing what they are supposed to do and their education is going good and they don't have any mental problems. And sometimes uh, these all big schools are going to send some letter to the parents saying that, oh, your child is not feeling good, but they have to tell why the child is not feeling good, whether the child is depressed or something like that, right? So all these courses are not the MBBS courses. They don't really need, need but they are really important in terms of uh, medical world. Some more courses is again the bachelor's in public health, rehabilitation, uh, medical imaging, uh, medical laboratory, medical records, medical anatomy, industrial bio biotechnology, microbiology, clinical microbiology, biochemistry, agricultural bio biochemistry. So there are, these are again some kind of a miscellaneous courses left out of my previous two slides. So all, all these are related to the people who are coming from the biology background. And uh, one of the important highlight in this whole slide is the medical records. So you, these days, most of the people who are uh, going to hospitals, they are going through a, 
uh, health insurance. In, in olden days, there was no concept of me medical insurance or health insurance. But these days, everyone is going through the health insurance and health insurance works only if there is a medical record. So you have to make sure the record is created properly and it processed properly, preserved properly, and there is a privacy aspect also. So all those things come under medical record science or health information management. And it's like, again, an IT course, technology course, right? Okay, next, uh, the final slide here. There are some out-of-the-box courses here. Agricultural meteorology. So in, in every field, they need some kind of a uh, water resource. So they want to know if there is a water in the field or not, number one. Number two, what kind of minerals are there in the soil? So they'll do some kind of a soil test to find out what kind of crop they have to grow in the soil. And they, they might want to add some kind of a fertilizer. So what kind of fertilizer is required, whether it is zinc required, manganese required, what kind of minerals required to make sure they will get the meaningful crop, right? So that, that's where this, this meteorology comes into picture and agriculture, eco, farm management, agriculture, statistics, geology, uh, groundwater, environmental geology, clinical. So first five bullets are all related to agriculture. Then got the clinical pathology and sugar technology is again a separate course. Again, it is related to agriculture, but specialization in sugar. So without sugar, there's nothing. Everyone wants sugar. Everyone wants sweet. So there are so many different ways you can extract the sugar. And these days people are diabetic and they need a sugar where there is no calories. They want the sweet, but no calories, calorie free sugar. So all these different options available without need and without uh, uh, what you call MSAT. So no entrance examination, but you can build your career. And finally, there are still options like BCom plus LLB, BBA plus MBA, BCom plus MBA. Otherwise, you can do teacher's training and you can become a teacher in a school. Uh, you can do BSc BA, BSc Zoology BA, BSc, uh, so many different BSCs. And then you can do BA and you can become a high school teacher. So that is one last option you have. Uh, let me uh, get some questions from you. You can, yeah, go ahead. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir. I want to ask you, I have listed uh, so many courses. Right. BSc and uh, the number of courses and you have shown number of opportunities. But I want to know whether all these are available in uh, Telangana or Hyderabad. In this, because I uh, search in the internet, uh, we, all these courses are not available here. Majority of them are available, and some of the courses. If I go back to my previous slide, yeah. I have listed the name of the institutes who are offering those courses. So, for example, if you go to this BSc Agriculture, it is offered by. Yeah, uh, this is a famous course. Yeah, this is a yeah. famous course. Any of the, the other courses. Mm -hmm. Actually, I want to uh, congratulate you. Yeah, yeah, you are doing a wonderful job by showing us the the options and opportunities for the BPC students. Right. But I want to know the opportunities in like for the where are these courses available in Hyderabad? Like uh, for example, so, orthopedical technology. If you search in the internet, we cannot find the course in Telangana here. I I can find out. And tell, for example, let me share my screen. Or let's talk about orthopedic prosthetics, or uh, right, orthopedics and prosthetics. Prosthetics. Okay. So let me go to internet. Sir, it it would be nice of you if you add uh, one more slide, sir, to this one to for the list of colleges where the courses yeah, yeah. are available. Definitely, definitely. So,
So there is a government dental college in Hyderabad which is offering orthodontics course. And uh, oh, in Jaipur there is one course. So it looks like in Hyderabad there are very few limited options. Yes, sir. That's what I want to know because uh... correct. Yeah. So, but but the thing is, sometimes what happens is, if we want to become something, we have yes, to ex uh, expand our horizon. Yeah. So, yeah. for example. When I was in Hyderabad yeah. and I was trying to do some kind of an IT job, it was really right. hard. But when we came outside of India, we were able to find out so many opportunities. And when I was preparing these slides, I was not trying to limit myself only to Hyderabad because these slides and you, you, all, you all know we are recording this session because we want to have this session open for the whole world. Those who are coming from uh, outside of India can also explore the opportunities and most of the opportunities, for example, speech therapy, child psychology, right? In my area where I'm living right now, almost every school has a speech therapist, physical therapist and a child psychologist. And there is a counselor in every school. So that kind of environment we I am expecting in India in next 10 to 20 years. Today, that kind of environment might not be available, but I am not going to talk about something which is happening today. My uh, focus is always what happens after 10 or 20 years because we have to be prepared for tomorrow. We cannot uh, go to college. For example, 10 years ago, someone might have went to college and they were trying to understand how the Nokia phone works. Old, old fashioned Nokia phone, not the smartphone. And all their hard work, all their learning became useless because they were learning something which became outdated or obsolete today, right? So I am asking my audience always try to look for any course or any uh, job opportunity, which is going to give you a solid career for next 10 to 20 years or 30 years, because you are not going to retire tomorrow. And if you do some kind of a course today, which becomes useless tomorrow, again, you have to get into some college, some course, and by the time you might have been married and you have four children, it will become really hard for people to go to college and do one more course, right? So I am asking people to do those courses, which will have a very good solid future uh, in next 10 to 20 years, 30 years. I give the example of honey and honeybees, right? So today we might be able to get some honey in some tree, but next 10 to 20 years, you might not be able to find such an opportunity so what happens, people are going to look for the people who are going to give honey uh, in, in their shop and they want to have some kind of a reliable source. Whenever I go night, 12 o'clock in the midnight, the honey is available. So that, that is one simple example I'm trying to give. But overall, I'm trying to say is you build your career based on what is coming in next 10 to 20 years. My envision, my expectation is in next 10 to 20 years, almost every big school, the, the uh, what do you call, uh, reputed school will have a child psychologist, physical therapist, and uh, occupational therapist, speech therapist, these kind of people, these kind of jobs will be available. So that, that's my envision. I might be wrong, but that's what I'm expecting. Any other questions? Zishan. <clears throat> no Thank you for allowing me to speak. Uh, and uh, highly appreciable, sir, that uh, you are uh, doing a, means, uh, a commendable job for the students of, uh, uh, after the students who is completing the intermediate. Uh, actually, my question is that uh, uh, my brother has completed his BIPC. Okay, and uh, now we are searching for the colleges. Uh, so he has given the entrance exam for MSET mm -hmm. and as well as for NEET. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, the marks he didn't he got in MSET, but uh, uh, in the correction uh, there is some corrections are there. Uh, I have talked to the some uh, uh, authorities also for this, but uh, we didn't got any replies. So I left that. But in NEET he got the result, but uh, the rank is something like uh, in lakhs. So my question is, uh, can we apply for the counseling on the basis of need entrance exam? 
it depends on course, course and college, right? For B pharmacy course, sir. For B pharmacy, he, he should uh, apply through MCET exam. He got the MCET result, right? Yeah, he got the MCET, but the marks are not appropriate. Actually, if I count that the key uh, come uh, comes from the government, no? I have uh, calculated the marks, so he got more than sixty or something. But uh, they mm -hmm. are showing like fifty-eight. So I have uh, gone to the authorities also, and I have given all the complete details. These are the mistakes, and these marks should be uh, enrolled for my candidate. But uh, they are giving the less marks. So how can I help him so that he could get the uh, college even for the I means uh, he can apply for the counseling for the uh, whatever college he can get because his uh, intention is to get the uh, means uh, college like in B pharmacy he wants to pursue his uh, 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 um, bachelor's in uh, B pharmacy so please okay, okay. could you help uh, us so so the overall the problem what I understood is he got the result but they did some mistake while doing the calculations. And that mistakes have to be corrected. Yeah, but unfortunately, I, I, uh, it is not uh, done maybe right now. But I want to ask if uh, he got the rank in NEET, can we apply for the B pharmacy through NEET for the counseling? Um, it, it depends on the college. You have to check with those colleges. Are they accepting NEET score also? Because, okay, okay. right? Sure, sir. Sure, I will check once. Actually, I uh, have attended the late this session, so sorry for that. Uh, so I missed the starting uh, slides. But after that, whatever I have seen, it was tremendous, sir. It was uh, highly appreciable that uh, uh, thank you for allowing me in this session also. And uh, thank you very much, sir, for helping me. Right. So that, that's why we are recording this session, because this recording can be watched by people later also, right? Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Yeah, actually, Abhit Pasha and the group on the chat, if you see, he gave his phone number. Uh, talk to him. He's going to help you in terms of B pharmacy admission. He has experience in the field. Okay, sir. Thank you. I have seen the number, sir. I will definitely yeah, contact. Perfect. perfect. Any other questions? Hello? You can unmute, otherwise you can type. Anything is fine. 